and welcome everybody today. Uh, thank you for being here. I would like to thank our senior sustaining member, uh, Venti Shanto, that is organizing with us this uh, presentation on cybersecurity, particularly uh, Enrico Dellu and Gaetano uh, Galletti. Uh, thank you very much for sustaining the chamber. Thank you for being part of our uh, community. So this is one of the benefits that we offer to our uh, sustaining and senior sustaining members. So thank you for, for, for being part of us. Um, we're gonna, um, today, uh, after, uh, we're gonna have a presentation on cybersecurity, and the two speakers will be Fabrizio Rosina and Riccardo Baldanzi, that uh, will have uh, uh, the presentation, and then they're gonna show us a video, which, uh, for what I understand, is gonna be a simulation of uh, a cyber attack, and what happens in a company when you are a target of it. It's a very serious uh, topic, and uh, we are very glad that uh, all of you are here to, to learn more and, uh, and hopefully to uh, use their service uh, to put you in a better position. Thank you very much. So welcome. So thank you for being here. Uh, just a few words about us. So, um, Ventisante US is a part of uh, an international group and is a result of 15 years of experience in IT and cyber security. We have uh, just a few numbers about us. So, we, we have for, for more than 400 customers worldwide and more than 100 uh, colleagues in uh, all over the world. What about our history? Uh, Venticento in Italy was founded in 2005 and they focus, we focused on uh, IT services based on you know, Microsoft, Sophos, so all IT uh, verticals. Seven Layers, where I come, uh, is a high specialized cybersecurity company uh, one of the fastest growing companies in Europe. And we founded in 2012. In 2014, uh, we, found, so we founded the uh, 2100 US here just to help the US customers based here in New York. In 2018, we joined the forces together because we would like to cover all the IT services. So, and we joined the forces firstly in Hong Kong. So we founded the Setecento HK, uh, and we would like to support also the Hong Kong based clients. What we did is uh, based, because we would like to offer, and we are offering now, the, a follow the sun, so 24 7 coverage for our clients for all the IT security needs. So, five offices here in Manhattan, three in Italy, Turin, Milan, Florence, and one in Hong Kong. Just few numbers, five offices, more than 100 employees, and more than 400 clients all over the world. This is the agenda for today. So, uh, some security overview, so why, why hacking? What's the business in the, beside? So, threats and digital risk, and our answer. Now, cybercrime is a business, so it's not a secret. The cybercrime damages are uh, estimated to be, in two t by 2021, more than six trillion, and is uh, above all the world drug illegal markets, still now. And the earning level of each threat, it may vary. It depends on the, the, the victim. So uh, the victim now is not only the big customers, so the big companies. They start from a simple citizen to the, the most big company in the world. So nobody uh, is not, uh, uh, you know, all, all we can be attacked from this kind of threats. Uh, maybe, I don't know if you have maybe uh, tried to uh, take a look to the have been pawn sites. 
the Hakobin subsite, uh, um, it's a you know uh, it's a data leak database where all the uh, data leaks from Dropbox, from LinkedIn, uh, Yahoo, whatever during the, these years, and they reached out all these leaks. So you can check if your email or anyway if your data are already on the web. Okay. I don't know if you ever received any kind of email like, okay, uh, dear Ricardo, I know your password, okay? I installed a software on your PC, and I saw that you, you did something you didn't, you, you shouldn't, and now, okay, uh, I, you need to pay me because otherwise I will share your private information. For sure, I don't have any kind of malware on my PC itself, okay, because it's well protected, but where they did get my email or maybe my old password, okay? That's why they, um, maybe four years or five years ago, depends, they have breached Dropbox or they have breached LinkedIn, okay? So they have get my email and my password, okay? So what's important, I need to change my password every time and now uh, they, they, they know my password, so they try to uh, get me get me money. Okay. So that's why it, it's uh, it's it became a, a big business. Let's talk about uh, differences in, in in web. So we have three different webs: the surface web, the deep web, and the dark web. Surface web. So it's whatever is already indexed by a search engines. So Yahoo, Google, Reddit, CNN, Bing, whatever. So the crawler, so the, the web, is indexing all what is able to reach. Deep web. Deep web, uh, it's, you know, a uh, portal like uh, academic, university, medical, financial records. So, so you need to know uh, the the, the URL that you must type in the browser, okay? So you need to know where you have to get. Dark web, okay, that, that, that's the, the, the focus of this slide. So dark web uh, is all whatever is not indexed by, by a search engine and where you can find a lot of information about, about us, you can find critical numbers, uh, you can find uh, uh, bank accounts, uh, so a lot of information how to hack is someone else's computers. Uh, in the, in the, into the dark web, maybe you can purchase for $500 a, the credential for a, a bank account of you know, Bank America for, with uh, uh, $50,000 in, in the account. Okay. So they are selling information and you maybe also uh, purchase tools to hack someone else's computers. They, you can use uh, you know, a browser to access the, the dark web. There are different software, but it's very easy to use. So you don't need uh, special skills. Let's talk about zero days value. Okay, zero days are vulnerabilities. So vulnerabilities, they are not now, not well known now. Uh, if you are a security researcher and uh, you found a vulnerability in a well-known software, for instance, Adobe, uh, Safari, uh, Microsoft Word, okay, so you are a security researcher uh, and you find a vulnerability, you have two choices. You can go directly to the vendor, so the, to, the, to the producer, and uh, you can sell it directly, or you can sell to a security vendor. They will ask you what they call um, responsible disclosure. So you cannot disclosure before they patch it, because you have to give them time to patch and deploy all over the world the, 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 the patch for the vulnerability, because anyway, uh, it could be a, a big threat, okay? And, you know, Microsoft uh, or uh, all our security vendors will pay you. But there's another way. You can go to the dark web and sell the vulnerability 
and maybe someone could uh, you know pay you much a lot much than all the other vendors and in this slide you can see that so far is uh, most use the software where you found, found the vulnerability so much is the value of the vulnerability so a vulnerability on Android it's cost up to two million also on iOS so on the the Apple uh, operating systems. Let's talk about antivirus. So all we need antivirus, because anyway, uh, they um, we use for managing our clients. We use for deploying software, blocking a webcam, blocking USB, or whatever. But someone already breached three of the top antivirus companies here in the USA. So we need to uh, understand that uh, the, only the antivirus is not a, a solution alone. What about the difference between the attacks from some years ago, maybe 10 to 12 years ago, uh, all the companies fo were focused on protecting the perimeter, okay? But, you know, it's like uh, when, you know, in, in the medieval, when you have castle, you have, uh, you know, a river with a crocodile, and, you know, if you are trying to don't get inside the castle, the attackers. But now there's difference, because there's someone in the castle there's opening the, uh, the, 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 the main door to the attacker. So what are trying the, to do and are able to do the attacker and to use social engineering to focusing on people. So LinkedIn now is a, uh, you know, it, it's like a um, big database of all of us. So if uh, we, someone would like to act on my company, he can go to the LinkedIn, see who is my assistant, okay, and uh, try to figure it out which uh, which is her mail, okay, and try to get in touch with her. So we need to not focus only on the infrastructure; we need to focus also on people. This slide shows that the security spending on IT is focused on the network, so defending the perimeter. But the most used attack for vectors for attack is the email, because focusing on people. So they will send you an email and try to deceive you. Let's talk about Office 365. It's the most popular now cloud service, it's a, it's a part also Salesforce. So with over 85 million users, okay? The issue with uh, uh, 365 is that it uses legacy security systems, not so, you know, enhanced. So IP filtering, uh, signature-based uh, um, antivirus, and the, the, the attacker knows that you are using this kind of platform. So what we'll do is to send you an email that looks like an Office 365 mail, okay? And maybe they will ask you to reset your password. And if they will deceive you, they will get your credential. That's another issue with 365. Uh, if you're using the SharePoint documents sharing system. So if you are sending each other sh SharePoint documents, uh, Microsoft is unable to protect the content because uh, otherwise he ha it has to block completely the SharePoint uh, link because they don't know the difference from my link and your link or the attacking link, okay? It looks at each other. What about our surface exposed on social? 
So now uh, all the companies, all people have any, you know, an accounts, and celebrity used for, you know, have more uh, followers, companies to share information or any way to spread their, you know, the brands. Attackers are trying to, uh, you know, gain the access to your, uh, to your social login just to publish to a lot of your followers their contents. So, in this case, there are two issues. Your, you know, um, all your your um, you know, followers they could click on a, on, a, on a content that is not posted by you. Okay, uh, in these cases, they upload some malware, and all the followers of greasy celebrities just get a new malware and downloaded it and install it. Let's talk about some answers. Vulnerability assessment and gap analysis. I will talk about later. Digital risk protection, security awareness training, security infrastructure enforcement, and managed security services. So, what's a VA? So, what's a vulnerability assessment? Uh, every system that you have in your network, facing inside or facing the internet, may have some vulnerabilities. Just because the researchers that we talked about before maybe found something new, they don't know when you install the system, and maybe uh, become vulnerable. So, there are systems that we use to uh, scan your um, your PCs, your servers in the, in the company, and find vulnerabilities that could be breached, could be exploited. Penetration test is a really a manual activity used to exploit a vulnerability found on a VA. That's why uh, you don't know upon if the vulnerability found which kind of data will be exposed. So if you are able to patch the system, okay, you usually don't need a PT, so a penetration test. But if you are not able to, just because you can't upgrade the system or uh, you can't ask to the software developer to change the system itself, you need to evaluate which will be the magnitude of the attack. Gap analysis identifies the difference between desired security performance levels and the existing performance level that you have in the company. So we do a VA inside and outside the network. We do an interview to all the IT stakeholders and we draw a path to you know, uh, let you to desired security performance levels, the best in, in the market. Domain fraud protection. So all of us, we have a domain. So for the company, for our production, whatever. And the attackers are trying to register a new domain that looks like the real one, okay? Just because they would like to sell products that looks like others, or they would like to deceive us and click on email that they are maybe quickly registered. So, what's the solution? The solution is to monitor continuously all new registration for domains that look alike or type of squattings. So, I digit www.vintagecentro.us or whatever, and maybe I do a typo, so I write down something different, and the attacker maybe already registered before this kind of domain and copy my website, but, it, but it's the you know it's the attacker's the attacker website. What we do is to monitor all the new registration all over the world, and if it appears, we request 
as soon as possible the takedown of the website and of the domain to the register. Corporate social media accounts protection, similar to the previous one, is based on the accounts on the social. So maybe you have a channel, maybe you have an account, whatever. You need to know when someone retweets or the you know the the, uh, the post that you, you have done, or someone maybe uh, gets your credential and and, and start to spread malware using your social accounts. We talked about before about deep and dark web. So we could we can you know you know uh, monitor digital contents, whatever it could be credit card numbers, it could be IP address of your company, name, whatever. We can monitor using uh, some technologies, we can monitor all your uh, contents across deep and dark web. So if there's any kind of match, we can inform you in real time. So we cannot remove the contents on the dark web, but it's, you know, it's better to know that someone breach the information, so there's, there's what a leak of information. <coughs> Fishing education and security awareness. As we talked before, we need to focus on people because our colleagues, all the employees must be trained. They must be aware that there are a lot of threats on the internet, so they, they need to know how to use uh, the browser, how to use, how to surf, to, to surf the web, how to use the email, how to uh, recognize uh, a fake mail or whatever. <coughs> so what we use is some platforms to uh, train the employees during uh, a, a, a training course, a training uh, on the on the web for some modules, so the web, the, uh, the, the, the mail, uh, um, or whatever, there are, I think, uh, 30 modules on, on, on the systems, and help to enable uh, the, the, uh, the employees to keep top of mind of security. After we train the, 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 the colleagues and the people, we need to uh, keep them uh, awake so we need to uh, fish them. Firstly, we try, you know, we train them with the, the with the platform, and we start to send them phishing email similar to the to the attacker, and in this way we can see if they well understood what they've done on the on the training system. If they fail on on a particular email. We can uh, launch them to the, you know, it's a teaching moment, it's a uh, 30 seconds moment when they uh, relearn what they failed on the email. In this way, we can uh, lower the catch rates of the phishing or the spare phishing attack that maybe will be driven to the, uh, to the, to the people. For sure, we need technologies. So we integrate technologies in the company, and we use the best of breed systems on, on the markets, starting from uh, Palo Alto networks, Fortinet for the next generation firewalls, uh, and, and, and endpoints, so the EDR, uh, positive technologies for protecting the OT, so the SCADA systems, the production systems, the false point technologies or uh, the data leak, so the DLP protections and CASB, so what that means, the DLP on the cloud. For Scout, for protecting the your local area network access, so whoever is connecting to your your network. Tipping points to patch to virtual patch a system that maybe could not be patched because is uh, deprecated by by the vendor, like. Uh, Windows 7 from, uh, from Microsoft. 
FireEye is our threat intelligence platform, and proof points for training, phishing, and mail security for Office 365. All these technologies does not get along alone, so they need someone who can use them and who can uh, correlate all information that uh, can bring, bring us to each other. So we developed uh, an, a service called MDR, so Manage Detection and Response, and we use a platform, a threat intelligence platform, to correlate each information. So what we can do for you, receive highly profilated alerts, and then start to do what is called threat hunting. So uh, looking on all this log, on all these alerts, for this kind of threats, and when it does, when we did begin in the time and in all the company. So after that, threat analysis, classification, prioritization, and if possible, prevention. So we can isolate the client that it has been breached. Acquire the digital forensics. So acquire all the information that the attacker has uh, you know, stashed on, on, uh, on the PC and uh, send you an incident rep report for uh, the whole incident. Let's talk about the hacking demonstration that we will see. Okay, we will present you a spur phishing attack. A phishing attack is, a spur phishing is a little bit different for um, the, 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 the phishing attack standard because it's aimed at, taking, at hitting a very specific person. The target, in this case, will be deceived to click on two links. One with the purpose of stealing its credentials and the other to allow the attacker to take control of the computer. In this scenario, a colleague of mine, Simone Rapizzi, is the CFO of the company called Vinitaly, whose main domain is vinitaly.co. The user uses the same credential for corporate mail and for his profile on LinkedIn. Everything that we will see will happen without the user having evidence of what is happening completely. The total time of the attack was 15 minutes, and the, the, the consequences will be theft of user credentials, fraudulent access to the mail systems, image damage for the company, and theft of confidential data from the target's computer. Let's see. Okay, this is the victim PC, so it's a Windows system. And let's see the colleagues what we do. Okay. He's accessing Office 365 with his credential. It works, so it's logging in. Okay, so he has some mail. With uh, you can see the forecast for the production, and he is using also LinkedIn. And because he is a lazy boy, he used the same password on you know. LinkedIn and Office 365 and whoever knows whatever websites on, on the web. Okay, this is the attacker PC. Okay, so as you can see, 
is receiving an email. This email is fake. And the attacker is sending him an email. Uh, we are running some important updates uh, on Office 365. Due to security reasons, we need to log in the new portal. Login.login.vinitaly. You can see that is L, L capital, not a E. Mm -hmm. Okay, so someone has registered a lookalike domain. So, taking a look to the, because it's not, you know, uh, so confident. So, taking a look, okay, Outlook showed him an email that seems good. And so, he decided to click because he, he was deceived. Using the same email, because if you, if you know, if, if you take a look at the, the website login, login, vinyl.com, is the same, they look like, the, the website looks like the Office 365. It's completely the same. So my colleague, unfortunately, gave his credential to the attacker. And the website is completely the same to the to Office 365. The attacker just received his password and his email. As you can see. The landing page was that one, login, login. So what the attack is doing now is going to access the real Office 365 tenants using the uh, credential that the colleague gave him. And the attacker has complete access to his email, so to the forecast. As you can see, the email, it's the you know, it's the same. So the attacker start to another activity because he would like to gain the uh, complete access to the uh, to the to the victim. So, firstly, download the, the forecast because it's uh, you know sensitive information. So, download it to the to the laptop. After that. Take the email let's see and is replying to the accounting of the company urgent pay this invoice so the email is coming from the real Simon Rapizzi, so from the CFO. As you will understand when the accounting department will send this email, it is completely uh, fake, but it's coming from the real Office 365 the accounting will do what the CFO is asking of them. <clears throat> okay, just sent. And if you take a look to the sent items, there's the email, and the attacker is going to delete the email but because he wouldn't like that the real one can find the email in the sandbox.
Okay. Last but not least. Now the attacker is going to link it in and try if the same credential were used also on LinkedIn. And we know that is. So what you could do on LinkedIn spreads you know, false information and try to uh, damage the image of the company. I hope there is no, no French company here, anyway. <laughs> We appreciate the French one. <laughs> and that's it. The post is from the original one. So uh, for sure that would be a big issue for this kind of post anyway. And we can do a lot more. This is uh, an iPhone, okay? And we are using Telegram to install some malware on the victim PC and to control itself. So we are gonna send a content to the victim and asking him to uh, execute the, the malware. But he doesn't know that is a malware. So, due to some issue in the VPN clients, we need to update it on your laptop. Could you please run the installer? And it comes from the support team of the company. So, he's a CFO, he's a, you know, ET aware of the, of the threats, and he's ex executing the, the, the malware. seconds to download. You can see how it can be easy to, you know, uh, install malware on a victim PC. And all the uh, antivirus systems is not uh, alerting because you know it's a it's not it's not a common virus it's a malware right on our own so they are not able to lock it and anyway the user is installing itself so is running the remote assistance uh, binary that is just downloaded from our link. We shared with uh, an HTTPS link, so it's uh, you know it's encrypted, so the perimeter can't uh, analyze it. And we gain in a few seconds a complete access to the victim PC. Yep, get it. So we have a lot of information on this PC. It's a Windows 10 with the type of the CPU and the username. 
and we just got a, a, a screenshot. So we can see whatever the PC is seeing, so the user is seeing, even if they are on the corporate banking accounts or whatever. We just listed all the file that he has on uh, in a directory. So we have GDPR sensitive information, we have a uh, porter bonds, so a lot of usable information. And like we we are on the PC itself, we are moving in the directory. That's it, we are directly in the directory. And we can download whatever we need. So we are downloading the GDPR sensitive PDF file. We can also upload fi a file if you want, but anyway. That's another, that's another issue. Let's think about evidence pointing or something like that. And now we are running some other. In this case, we are running a ransomware that will encrypt that kind of directory. And we will ask, we will ask him some, you know, some money. You will see the file will changing. Yes. We are encrypting that kind of directory because we have a complete access to the file and to the PC. That's it. So I see your faces. <laughs> and that's what an attacker we attacker, attacker can do easily because you know uh, we are a security company, we develop our little malware to test, okay? We use a lot of technologies to protect our customer, but anyway, uh, even a young boy, kids can do some of uh, the, 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 you know, the operation we we done because a lot of tools are uh, very easy to obtain on the on, on the dark web or anyway on on the web. <coughs> so that, that's why you need to uh, enhance your protection with uh, a mix of technologies and services that we would really uh, show show you. I know it might partner but it's want to add something? Anyway. Our intention today was not to scare you, <laughs> but just to create some awareness. Just to give you some, a couple more information. Uh, this is a real environment, so this, pro this uh, computer was protected from uh, the Windows antivirus, and it was protected also by firewall. So in 50 minutes, uh, we had complete control of the company. We can damage the company, damage the image, just steal uh, every data we want, uh, and uh, with just one tool and a couple of mails. So uh, our message is uh, is not a matter of how much money you are spending or how much device we are installing in your environment, uh, but but at the beginning you have to understand uh, how is your risk exposure, and it depends from your business, for your company, which person you have, if you are spread around the world or in one city, many offices or not. So for this reason, we started with analysis. Uh, we suggest you strongly start with that kind of approach. After that, we can uh, understand better how it works, uh, which is the right solution for you. So the security for us is not a device, it's not a software, it's not a license, but it's a complete solution. Sometimes is uh, the technology, sometimes in your uh, training, uh, in the people, sometimes in tuning of your procedure, internal procedure. 
And so it's just uh, to be aware that what can happen in the real time in 15 minutes in your real environment. about you uh, on the web okay so maybe on uh, LinkedIn I see your uh, job title I see your colleagues I take some information about uh, you on uh, the have I been phoned uh, website and I see that maybe uh, you, you use a, a kind of password and I download some documents that maybe uh, maybe yeah, I can see from your Instagram accounts that you have uh, you know, some hobby, and I uh, take a look to this kind of hobby and see that you are using uh, uh, Adobe Reader to upload a file for, you know, a tennis, tennis court or whatever. So I know a lot of information about you. And then when I uh, launch my attack, uh, I can go through directly to what I, I think that you are vulnerable. So the secret is to gain as much as information I can to attack someone. Is this simulation on you um, <coughs> PC, obviously? Yep. You have a simulation for Mac? Uh, I don't have it here, but it's the same. No, it's not different. Different same effects, or different same or easy way to penetrate a Mac, or uh, it's a little bit more difficult. Anyway, uh, if I if I, uh, I was you know an uh, an attacker, sure. The key point is uh, if you are talking about uh, general evil threats, <coughs> it's a big difference. The common malware, common virus, uh, try to target the more uh, extensive, uh, more extensive area. So. The user written for uh, PC. You see, uh, the wide area attack Mac is a little less, okay? but for the target uh, attack, so when I want to attack uh, uh, my uh, my family user, I have to write something custom for for it. And uh, the other point we start where uh, we saw in the beginning of this presentation is about uh, uh, the cyber crime now is uh, a very good business. Uh, so when a attacker tries to attack you, it's about uh, he wants to get some money. And his job, uh, so he, he knows that he has to spend some time, develop something, give this uh, weapon to you, and uh, uh, take money from this uh, kind of activity. So for him, it's only business. It depends uh, how much you want to do for this attacker. But all company, basically your main asset is the data, personal data, company data, or many times you don't know about it, uh, your customer data. In many attacks, there are some ransom based on ask money to you because they steal the, your customer data. And what is your damage if they take your customer data and put on the web? Uh, you have to think for, uh, for example, for a legal firm. Huh? And uh, this is the, the kind uh, of uh, situation we have to face off every day. And there are some person that uh, have a job, they have uh, the hacker job. Uh, with the face recognition system, yep. lower distress or? Uh, yes, it lowers. Anyway, we saw some weeks ago an attack where the, where the attacker used a, yeah, a, a vocal um, uh, synthesizer to emulate the voice of the CFO to ask to the accounting department 
to uh, do a wire transfer. Anyway, so uh, as Fabrizio told, it's business for them. So it yes. depends on how much they consume from you. Exactly. So as much as they can, is as much as it is their budget. So you're safe. You're just resting your case and you can pull your computers. <laughs> Hello? Yeah. Uh, which, what kind of mitigation do you offer against the SIM swapping test? It depends. Yeah. 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 The first part of this attack was driven by email. So at the beginning, we have to understand how we have to protect the email. So, for example, this kind of link is an email. There are some products put just in front of your infrastructure that are able to rewrite every URL sent you, and every time to click on a URL, this kind of URL is analyzed. On, and this is very useful, for example, for their last tool. Last tool can be sometimes intercepted during this kind of operation. During, for example, for the first link you received, it's almost impossible for a technology to intercept this kind of attack, because uh, it's just an email with a normal message. Uh, there is no spam. There is not some signature uh, spreading the word. So for this part, is more more important uh, how is training your internal employee to make the right question to themselves. So this is the right procedure for us uh, to install a software or to change a password. There is the right link inside the email, or is the fake link, it's a lookalike link. So on one side, we have to enforce the security awareness. On the other side, we can uh, work on the technology field. Okay? So there are many steps. For this reason, we suggest uh, you to start with analysis. Uh, and we can uh, uh, evaluate, uh, just together with you, which is the more risky point uh, where we have to work on. Question. So thank you. Thank you all. So enjoy your lunch. Thank you.